this video lesson is about the area of parallelogram. So what is area? Area it is the space occupied by a flat shape. So in this lesson, I will show you the area of parallelogram. But unlike the first two video about the area, parallelogram has no sides like square and parallelogram has no length and width like rectangle. In this polygon, which is the parallelogram, we use the term base and height. So base is always at the bottom of the polygon. And to determine the height, we must draw a line from a vertex up to the base of the polygon. And we will form a right triangle. So if we form a right angle, it must say it is the height of the parallelogram. So let's try to find how to get the area of parallelogram. And we're going to use the formula. The formula on how to get the parallelogram is A equals base times height. So again, base is always at the bottom and the height is from the vertex. We draw a line from this up to the base. So let's try. Example number one. So you have here a parallelogram which has a base of 6 meters and a height of 4 meters. So we're going to use the formula a equals base times height. So just substitute the measurements of the base and the height, which is the base is equal to 6 meters and the height is equal to 4 meters. So we just multiply 6 times 4 and it will give you a 24. And again, the units for the area is meter squared or squared meter so that the answer for this area of this parallelogram is 24 meters squared so let's try another example a parallelogram whose base of 8 meters and a height of 6 meters Formula is A equals base times height. Just substitutes the measurements of the base and height, which is 8 meters and 6 meters. So just multiply 8 times 6 and it will give you 48. And just put the correct units for the area. So the answer for this parallelogram is 48 meter squared or 48 squared meter so let's try another example a parallelogram whose meters or whose base has 5 meters and a height of 3 meters so I'm going to use the formula and substitute so can you guess what is the area of this parallelogram Correct. It is 15 meters squared or 15 squared meters. So next example. A base of 10 meters and a height of 8 meters. So using the formula B is times height and just substitutes the measurements. So can you guess again what is the area of this parallelogram? very good it is 80 meter squared or 80 squared meters let's try last example so a parallelogram whose base is 8 meters and a height of 4 meters by using the formula 
and substitute it. So the base is 8 meters and the height is 4 meters. So the answer for this example is 32 meters squared or 32 squared meter. Very good. Good job. So let's try and I'll give you your activity. So it's activity time. So find the area of each parallelogram. So I'll give you one which has a base of 6 meters and 2 meters height. Second parallelogram whose base is 5 meters and a height of 4 meters. And the last parallelogram has a base of 5 meters and height of 3 meters. So I'll give you a 30 seconds for your activity time. So your 30 seconds starts now. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Time is up. So I'm going to show you my answer and just compare with your answer. So the answer, so my answer for the first parallelogram is. 12 meters squared in this parallelogram i just multiply six times two and it will give you a 12 meters squared for the second parallelogram my answer for this is 20 meters squared or 20 squared meter so i'll get the answer by multiplying five meters by four meters and last for the third parallelogram is 15 meters squared or third 15 squared meters. So did you get all the three parallelogram correct? Or the area of the three parallelogram? Great job. So see you on my next topic.